Oh, wrap up. But I thought that's what but we did earlier. Yeah, I thought we changed the schedule and we elected new board members and heard uh, things. So, but Stefan is here. So we will welcome Stefan for uh, hearing what happens next. <laughs> what, what happens next? This was what we did before. Okay, so, so we are done. Um, the, the, the schedule says lunch break. The lunch, they, they ask me, and then uh, normally the, they should be ready in, uh, in 10 minutes. Because you see that's what shifted and So uh, we like dynamically adapt uh, here. <laughs> uh, so uh, since uh, Niall sem said something this morning, and uh, okay, there are some rumors. So we, we are uh, currently seriously considering having Isaac next year, next year in the UK. So everything is not arranged, but it is this, this likely. So. We will we'll give the, the, the official final announce uh, as soon as possible, but this is, so we confirm the rumor uh, by Niall this morning. <laughs> okay. So thank, thank you all for uh, attending uh, the, this uh, event and uh, thank you for your contribution. Thanks to our, all our, our speakers and hope to see you all next year. Yes, yes, something really, really important. That's my... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> um, this is, um, as a community, I, f I really believe that we need strong, powerful vendors. That, that's really, really important. Because sometimes people can think, oh, yes, this guy. So bef it's, it's fun, huh, because before we were doing s visual works, after we did Squeak, and then now we are doing Faro at our personal level. This is not something we try to avoid that it influences what we are doing. For me, I'm not happy to see people if they have a fight or things like that. We need powerful vendors. That's really important for everybody. So if we can help, if we can, if ASU can help for doing that, we will always support that. You see, for example, if you don't send awards, uh, if, you don't, don't, if you don't send the proposal for the tech awards, in your language, how do you expect that people will vote for it? You know, that's really simple. So some people told me, oh yes, uh, you see you have, uh, uh, and this was totally wrong, you have uh, the, the, um, the tech award, they were uh, Faro-centric. Last year, the guy that won was a visual works uh, emulator, which was really great. And they were this, uh, there was this uh, squeak things, and so it's up to you to change that. And on the side, we have no interest, no interest, in having weak vendors, but because that does not make sense. We, we play on completely different planes and there is space for everybody. And on the side effect of that, one of the side effects of that is that for me as a researcher, or for us as researcher, saying that we are doing small talk, we look gray, old, and ugly. <laughs> huh? So th that's you, you face that maybe with your customer we face that in every paper we write. One guy said, oh, is your solution working in Java and why do you use this crappy language? So if as a community we, sh we shine and we kick their ass, automatically we will all be cooler by definition. No, but that, that's really a synergetic thing. This is that we are all cool because we are part of a cool community that the synergy in the, pro in the process and in the community. And we really want to pay attention that this synergy continues, that we can reinforce that. That's why, you see, we, we could wonder why SUG should say that we want a German user group, a real one. In France, there are really few companies developing in, in small talk. In Germany, a lot. Why do we have a group that is active in France and not in Germany? People should ask themselves the question. This is their future. And you see, so this kind of stuff. 
Why? Because in France, we started three and we said, no, we want more. That's it. Huh? So the message is really important. We want powerful vendors. They should not fight. And we should build a nice future. And that would be perfect. And a good open source community like that, you can hide all the smart guys that we will attract. Yeah, because that's, that's the game. Huh? And just, just something to remember is that this is because we were teaching Squeak at University of Bern that we could grab a guy like Lucas. He was completely crazy, okay. But, and what you see is that <coughs> this has got a really good impact. That's my end word. Hello? Okay. So, the final word should be Thank you, thank you all. Uh, thanks to the local organizer. We had. <laughs> ju just some information about the organization. This is the first time we had live streaming of the conference. And, and uh, I've been told that we had more than a thousand connections, and they were all the time people connected. So there were a lot of people following the, c the conference uh, outside, and there were lots of people from the city lab helping running the, the conference and taking care of this. So uh, again, thank you.